I'm engineer Johnson Amayo. I'm the deputy manager director in charge of water resource services. So, uh, this is to see water project you see here is a part of uh, a bigger program uh, called the name Kambala Water Lake Victoria Water Sand Project. We, uh, we had the component of building the water facility here and then transferring this water in the bulk to come back to, to, to Sunday. Why we came here is because of the uh, water quality of Lake Victoria at the Gaba, which has deteriorated because of the development settlements in the catchment area. And we also partly wanted to come this way because we realized Kambala is expanding eastwards and is also expanding westwards. And we have another plan to put a similar treatment plan of a smaller capacity, which is already at the, we're moving to this design stage in a place called Boeranga between Inteva and Kampala. We're going to build another treatment plan. And we're going to start the design very soon. So we'll have water treatment plants here, Gaba and Boeranga to serve Kampala. Now, with the current infrastructure in the GABA, which we have upgraded, to, we have also introduced that modern technology you saw there in the GABA. GABA now is able to produce 240 million, and that part of the project of GABA totally took us around 40 million, including the reservoirs, <coughs> 40 million. Now, here, 40 million euros, because I talk in terms of euros. So, so here, the, this water works, it was constructed at a cost of 82 million euros. That amount of money involved this regional plant, the pumping main, and the reservoirs at the Sumba, which we saw, that, that, that component stops there. Within the treatment plant, we have taken the pipe, a big pipe, which some of our people can walk through of 1.5 meter, it goes into Lake Victoria, 500 meters. And the, the depth of that pipe is at a position where even if the ON falls at the problem, the, the water, the part, that point will still be underwater because the point of falls is higher than that point. So we can be sure of the water. There's no sphere that the water will not be, unless Lake Victoria dries. And I'm told it, dry, it dried around 3,000 years ago. <laughs> I don't know who has the information. So, that water comes in a bulk to a point where we are able to apply chemicals, and then the, the treatment takes place. At the moment, we have put a capacity of 160 million for the treatment part, but the, the raw water is 240 million. That capacity can take us up the year 240. That capacity, 2040, the capacity will put. So we said, going to the lake is complex, let's do it at once. And if there's any other expansion, the people who come after us will do it. So we did that one, and then from here we're taking about 70% of the water to Sumba. From Sumba, the water goes to uh, Sonde by gravity. And from, from uh, to Sonde. And that is through a big pipe also, and to the separate project, which, which costs 70 million. So that project, now it, the, the whole of this scope is operational. Eddie, what is your prayer at yeah. this committee? Now, to, to me, mm. so uh, you, you, you wanted to talk about, so our biggest challenge is mm. now we have taken this water in power. We now need to, tra trans to uh, transport this water to other parts of Kampala. The northern part of Kampala, if, if you go to Ntula, Kawembe, Kitezi, they still experience pressure problems. Those are the areas that we want to evacuate water to. <clears throat> now we also have the part between Intebe.
and the Kampala. In Tepe, two, the two systems are connected. But we want to have a deliberate program to transport water in a bulk to that part, so that places like Segupu, that, those areas of, of Entebbe Road, which are currently experiencing a little bit of supply hold issues, are addressed. But the National Water has taken a deliberate step to fund that component, and we are very soon be able to start working to evacuate water in a bulk from Gaba to take to, to Luboa, those areas between Entebbe, which currently are experiencing supply constraints, and we are, we, are, we are committed to address that area. So our prayer is really to see that uh, the committee can help us to make sure that the, the downstream infrastructure is implemented. For now, we have around 60 million euros. We are about to turn out the works. We have already shortlisted, we're in the process of shortlisting the contractors. And the, that is going to help us to build another big tank on the top of Kananya Hill. The one you saw is Sunday, another Sunday Hill tank is going to be on Kananya, Kananya, capacity of 15 million. And that tank is going to address the water supply problems in Matuga, those the northern parts of Kampala, and even up to Kana, uh, up to uh, Francis, a uh, member of parliament, Kalungu East. We've been touring this facility by National Water and Shuaji Corporation. I think they've done a commendable job. The only thing is we have to examine or scrutinize and see whether we have money, value for money uh, by finding out is what they've told us that these machines cost uh, are those the right, is that the right costing? That's what we are going to be, those are modalities we are going to work with the technical team to help us find out. But basically you would say, compared to other programs we've seen like uh, Luvoa and uh, this one is quite commendable, there is something you can see and the water is the basic necessity in life. So I, I really commend National Water and Sewage Corporation. Uh um, Miguel Robert and Nogwa member of parliament of my hands and the vice chairperson to the committee on national economy. One of our mandate is to approve but also oversee. So today we are specifically on the issue of uh, carrying out oversight on, uh, on the loan which was approved in the 10th parliament. I can say that we are satisfied as members in terms of uh, workmanship and in terms of uh, timely delivery. Uh, this is different from some of the loans that we, we have done oversight on. Uh, but uh, on the other side, as a member of parliament from the islands, uh, where actually in Lake Victoria, where this water comes from, I can say that I'm happy for people in and around Kampala, but I'm not happy for people in the islands. And I think they also have a duty in keeping this water clean. So there should be community uh, contribution by national water if we are to reduce the cost of treatment. Because if people in Kampala have uh, waterborne toilets, they have uh, latrines, but in the islands, they are going in open fields, which means that when it rains, everything is taken into the water. So it will increase the cost of treatment here. So one or the other, to reduce the cost of treatment here, is not just to bring in more chlorine and whatever. It is to help those people, maybe have community toilets at the running sites, so that they don't go into open fields. One or the other, then the cost of treatment will come down. Thank you. Uh, my name is Catrice de Olive Koyechenga. We are here uh, with the National Water and Sewerage Corporation. I have been on uh, this committee of national economy. When they came looking for the loan of this project, I'm the one of those who signed the loan. And I'm so grateful that they have put this loan on use. Because what we are seeing here, it is really very good. The water treatment, the reservoirs where we, we went, at least they are doing a very good job. If possible, they should get more money to make more projects like this so that Ugandans can get a pure water and good water for them.
I thank you very much. Uh, my name is John Bosco Ikojo. I am a member of parliament and a chapter. And therefore, as a committee of parliament, we have come to do oversight. You know, looking at the growth of Kampala Metropolitan, the demand for water in Kampala had actually overridden supply for water by national water. So government thought it wise to acquire a loan to finance this huge facility that we actually as a committee, we want to applaud National Water and Storage Corporation for the work that they have done. We have actually seen that they have done a lot, though there are still more challenges, most especially on the distribution of on the distribution of water. They have done the construction of the pump house, the, the treatment plant, but of course now the aspect of distribution still remains a challenge that we know that in future they will come to the committee to request for money. The, the, the deputy managing director in charge of technical, Alex mm. Kisagara mm. is the senior director in yeah. charge of planning, mm. I mean, in charge of engineering services. Mm. Program director. Now, part of the CJ is the brain behind. Is the, our, our, he has over 30 years in implementing large infrastructure projects. Mm. So he's the director in charge of planning, and the capital development. Then we have other people. We can, we no, we can do the rest of the introduction. The other side. The other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is very important. <laughs> Ripon Falls is above this point. Mm -hmm. So we shall never have, unless the next victory is dry. Mm -hmm. So that point is <laughs> below Ripon Falls. Mm -hmm. So this, the supply from here is assured. So we bring this water, it comes here by gravity. When, when there is enough by gravity, it goes through, mm. through this process of the operation. Mm. Uh, yeah. the then inside, we have the pump. Now the balloon, that balloon is where the, we have a big, you have seen that balloon there? This would be kind of yeah, they have a, they have a <laughs> big... They have the right kind of... We 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 have the right Yeah, that's just one of them. 